Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, the weekly awful wedding segment on my channel <laughs> that's becoming a thing. We're gonna look at some more awful weddings, some bridezillas, some psycho wedding guests and mother-in-laws because I feel like you're all here for the pettiness and the drama, so. And so am I, let's get into it. If you get the vaccine, don't bother coming to my wedding. Wait, if I get the vaccine, I can't come? If you receive the COVID vaccination within 30 days of my wedding, do not come. If you are planning to wear a mask or social distance, do not come. We don't live in fear and our day will be happy and normal. Thank you. I'm sorry, what? You're telling people not to come if they get vaccinated? Yes, ma'am. This is absolutely insane. Getting vaccinated is exactly what people should do. I understand not forcing people to get tested or vaccinated, although I personally would do it, but telling people not to be safe and putting themselves at risk for your day is ridiculous. Ah. Uh, are you one of those people that thinks it's gonna be like, like I'm gonna get COVID from someone who's vaccinated sort of thing? Like, like you get like weird symptoms, like grow a third nipple just by being next to someone who's vaccinated. Cause I got news for you. It's, uh, it's not gonna happen. You're weird. Don't act so weird. Science, learn some science and not from Facebook. Found in the wild for sale. Cake topper. <laughs> oh God. Come back. Please, please run away, groom. Why has no one made a movie called One Away Gloom? Right, Charlotte, One Away Gloom. Run away, groom. Probably because they all kind of want to run away. So it's just sort of like, eh, we're used to it. It's not that great of a movie concept. <laughs> Clearly, they're putting it into cake toppers. Seems to be quite common. <laughs> common enough to want it on your wedding cake. Oh God, there's more wedding toppers. <laughs> Reluctant groom, regretful bride. Oh geez, is this like a thing? Like I know it's funny, like I actually kind of like it. It's a little bit hilarious, but I wouldn't put that on like the wedding cake topper. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's kind of like something that you would have at like your bachelorette or something or your bachelor party. Put it on a cupcake, a really big cupcake. But at the actual wedding, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Even as a joke, it's not, it's not very funny. My stepmom showed up in a lace white dress to my wedding. Like, you guys really give stepmoms a bad name, eh? Like, thanks to Cinderella, I will never think of stepmoms as nice people, even though they are. Even though they might be nicer than, you know, like your original mom, right? Their stepmoms are moms too, right? But it's things like this that it's just like, really? Like, do you have to live up to the evil stepmother reputation, do you? You don't have to, you know? You, you can try to be nice. <laughs> Bradzilla wanted me to hand letter 250 invites and 250 save the date cards for free. She has 500 plus followers on Instagram, don't you know? Oh, so are you an influencer? I forgot to shoot my armpits. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's natural. So I made this instead. I can't pay but. I'll shout you out to my 500 plus followers. It's just writing. <laughs> she say that? So if it's just writing, then you do it, sweetheart. Damn. Guest shaming. Congratulations on getting married today, cuzzo. Is there any chance you have Cash App and can send me a little bit of money? I've literally asked everyone in my messenger, Snapchat, Instagram, and contacts. Congratulations on getting married. Can I have money? Like, I know you probably have some now because everyone's giving it to you because you got married. A handcuff engagement ring. Oh, is this part of like, the, there's a ring shaming group too. That I don't approve of guys. This is a bit weird. Like it's kind of interesting, but it's a bit weird. <laughs> it's not, yeah, like it's not bad. I don't know. I think it's, I got like the rose gold. It's kind of neat, kind of an interesting concept. I don't approve of wedding ring shaming. I don't. As someone who wishes someone would buy her a ring, do not shame them, okay? They're doing their best. Would anyone be able to remove the woman in the purple tank top from my wedding photos? Context, she wasn't a guest. She was the Reverend's wife. She said she would sit where she wouldn't be in photos. She looks incredibly unhappy and she isn't dressed for the wedding. I don't know if it's possible, but I figured I'd ask. I mean, Yeah, 
Especially if she looks like she's really unhappy to be there. I don't know, this one's kind of a toss up, guys. Like, I feel like, at first I was like, oh, you're a bridezilla, you don't want her in the photo. And then I'm like, oh, she wasn't a guest? That's weird. She just sat there in her, in her purple tank top. Also though, I don't know if you're gonna be able to remove her. That looks like, well, I'm not like a, I'm not a graphic designer, I'm not a Photoshop artist. I don't usually Photoshop my, my photos, but as someone who can Photoshop, that's gonna be hard to remove. Sorry, girl. SOS, I need advice when it comes to lard tats. Like tattoos, right? Tattoos. My foster sister has very large mural tattoos on her arms. Arms! She is the only one in the wedding who will have tattoos showing. We paying a lot for the perfect wedding and photographer, so I'm really struggling with what to do. I don't want to be that bribe, but they are going to stand out like a sore thumb as they are very vibrant. Do I ask for the airbrush makeup lady to go over them as I know that's possible? Or do I work with the photographer and see if she could edit them out? Thoughts on what to do? I really don't want to hurt feelings. Side note, it's a summer wedding and I've tried finding dresses that would cover them, but it's going to be too warm. You know, it's actually, it's it, it's a thing, like this is like a thing. Like if I've heard like a couple of friends say that they don't want to include their friends in their wedding because they have tattoos. It's, it's like more of a common thing than you would think. <laughs> I mean, if you're really, really bugging about it, don't make the photographer edit it out. Get get them to, to airbrush it. Like get them to put makeup on it, I guess. Sounds a little bridezilla-y, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna ruin my photos. No, it won't. No one's gonna give a <laughs> Literally the only person that gives a is you. Literally zero were given. Zero. This lady is looking for this cake topper for under 100 pounds. What is with these trashy sexy cake topper? Oh yeah. Is that what's going on at the at the, the head table? <laughs> I should hope so. You guys better not be able to keep your hands off each other, but do we need to see it on the cake? No, we don't. Is it edible? We all know I need it. <laughs> I want my bridesmaids completely matching and to pay for hair and makeup by MUA. I would like for them to be pristine for photos and I don't want them to use cheap looking makeup, which is why I'm asking them to pay for theirs to get done. I want their nails to be done or press-ons, whatever they prefer, matching shoes, matching dresses, their toes all to be the same color that I'll provide. I want their hair and makeup all to be the same, very simple do, something that won't outshine me. Is this asking too much? They have seven months to save up for this and I want it to be exactly how I envision it to be. I haven't had anyone complain, I just don't want them to back out last minute because they haven't put money aside for it. Dress $90, shoes $30, makeup $90, hair $75. I mean, I don't think this is a completely outlandish request, but the way that you're asking is a bit much. Like, I will be honest, like this post is a bit passive aggressive. You saw, you saw I'm really angry. I thought you're supposed to be happy about getting married, damn. Don't worry. Be happy. You found a man that wants to marry you that seems kind of like, not really in the cards, honestly. Cute or tacky for our save the dates. Editing to add, I thought this might be an easy way to let our friends and family know there will be firearms present at our wedding. Why do you want them to know that? My FH and his groomsmen will be open carrying with matching holsters. Myself and my bridesmaids will be concealed carrying under our dresses. Cool man, neat, super cool. Guns. <laughs> Opinion, if you buy gifts for your bridal party and have them engraved for each person and let's say said person ends up not coming, would you make them pay for the gift since you got the gift and had it personalized so there's no way you can give it to someone else or get a refund? Trying to figure out why she hasn't turned off commenting. That seems pretty petty. Like, I mean, just take just take the hit, girl. Like, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> what the <laughs> I wanna know why she didn't come. <laughs> Finally gets engaged after years of crying on about it and immediately bashes her fiance on Instagram story about how she did not like her ring. They go out and get a new one next day and ouch, embarrassing. It'll be done tomorrow once it's sized. It wasn't even that expensive. It was $1,500. Oh, that's tacky girl. I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I might have to see the ring, but like, honestly, <laughs> Just the fact that you're putting this on social media for people to judge, just, just don't. Like, we don't need to know. We don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know that you're not grateful for your wedding ring. <laughs> I don't. 
Can't we all just be grateful? What did it get you, a ring pop? I'd be happy with a ring pop. What's the latest trend in pre-wedding shoots? The X. Oh, love that. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't, don't go there. I'm glad you guys are still friends to the point where you can do this, but like, Broken heart. The groom is the red dot. Can you guess who is the bride and who's the psycho mother-in-law? Who does this? Like, I want to say the woman with the bouquet, but at this point, like after seeing all these mother-in-law photos at weddings wearing white dresses, I honestly won't, like, I don't know. I think it's the one with the bouquet. <laughs> I hope it's the one with the bouquet. Is that the only way we're able to tell these days? <laughs> She's got, the mother-in-law also has flowers on her arm too. It's a cravat. No, it's not a cravat. What is that thing called? Thing that you get at like proms and- <laughs> I know half of you are yelling it at the screen right now. I apologize. It'll come to me. The fact that you're so selfish that you can't allow someone to become engaged at your wedding is weird AF to me. If anything, you should be happier because not only did you win in love, but someone you love is also winning as well. Yes, very happy that someone is winning in love, but like, do you need to like get engaged at someone else's wedding? No, you don't. You could literally do it any other day of the year. Like, damn. Brides, did any of you use a fountain at your wedding with dressing? <laughs> Instead of a chocolate fountain, we are wanting to do a ranch fountain. <laughs> Need suggestions on best fountain to buy. I don't want hot ranch. <laughs> so I'm confused on what to order. Kick me out, but in a panini, a ranch fountain sounds scary. <laughs> oh my God, a ranch fountain does sound scary, but kind of delicious. <coughs> Alrighty guys, those were some more awful weddings, awful guests, awful brides, awful mother-in-laws and that got shamed on social media. It never ends, does it? And I'm okay with that because it means I have more content to make you guys laugh with. Subscribe!